Hey guys, hope everybody is well. Right, today I'm gonna to do a little tour on the second floor of my new house. I say new house, because it's my latest house, I should say. Uh, bought it at the very end of sort of 2019, December 2019, and we are currently August to 2021. Mm -hmm. So we're about a year, about 17, 18 months on from, from when I bought the house. Now, it's very important I ask the public, you know, what you want to see. So I did a toll just to make sure people wanted to see the second floor of the house. Because I don't know, you know, some people don't, some people do. So I make sure I did a toll just to make sure giving the people what they want. So, so I did a story on Instagram doing a toll basically. Do you want to see the second floor of my house? Yes or no? So the results are in. 674,000 people saw it. I'm going to say 165,000 people voted. Out of that 165,000, 156,000 voted for yes, 9,000 voted for no. So I think it's something like 95%. So there are the results there. So 95% wanted to see the house, 5% didn't. So for the 5% that didn't, nice and easy. You see that little button, top right, or the X where you can close the video down, just click that and go off the video. It means you don't have to watch it. Um, we're gonna head in before the gate shut because they're on a timer. So we'll go and have a look around the second floor of the house. So before we head in, um, one, of the big one of the big things I did with the house was have all the windows and doors replaced with, uh, with a nice gray. Um, all the roof, Apart from the conservatory, it's going to be done next week. So a company called Exterior uh, came and uh, basically they jet washed the roof, they repointed it, and then they painted it. So it's basically, I mean, they said the roof's good for another 100 years if it was treated in this way. So we've done the treatment and I think it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really pleased with how the house is sort of coming. It looks like the Batman house, if you ask me. I'm really, really happy with the results of the roof and the windows. It's really transformed the look of the house. Um, so I suppose we'll get in and we'll start in the kitchen and I'll show you the uh, second floor of the house. Right, I suppose we'll start in the kitchen. So uh, I haven't come through the front door because I locked myself out. So okay, I left this open because the dog likes to come in out. Wolf, here boy, come here. Down, you go down and you wait. So, this is Wolf. This is my new security dog. He's a fully trained family protection dog. So, he's been synced with me and the family. So, if anyone comes and grabs my arm or shouts at me, he's here, he's growling one word and he'll rip their face off. Again, anyone breaks into the house, he's, uh, he's there. So, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mess with him, put it that way. I've seen him in action and he can rip someone at me apart in about two minutes flat. So uh, he's a very nice person to have around, that's for sure. So, I mean, the kitchen, again, like because we've had all the windows and doors replaced, it's real, I feel like it's really like, uplifted everything. We knocked the big wall down there to open the kitchen up, and the wife, hello darling, she just walked in. You gorgeous wifey. Hello darling, you okay? So I was just telling her about the kitchen, how you designed this. All the kitchen's from Howden, a company called Howden's, isn't it? Yeah. Which is like a, a very sort of well-known kitchen fit company here in the UK. Um, and then we've got the worktops from a guy called Brian, a lovely gentleman. Um, on the Calicata gold, it's got this, like, this lovely gold sort of feature in the marble. Um, Extra tall covers. Yeah, because obviously me and the wife are tall people. I mean, believe it or not, Alex is just under six, like, what are you, five foot eleven and a half, basically six foot tall. Um, so we've had everything hired, you know, it's, it's like a house for tall people and obviously our son is only nine but he's uh, just under five foot isn't he already so he's, I think he's going to be a lot bigger than me. He is going to be a lot bigger. He is going to be a lot bigger than me. So I'm looking forward to the day he punches my lights out for getting an argument over something stupid. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything's been, been raised up to suit us. So obviously this is our forever home, you know, it's not something we're planning on selling, this is, this is something we plan on living in forever. You know, we don't want to plan on moving or anything. Um, so, you've gone for a nice black and white. Alex got a dream oven, a nice smeg oven. Big fridge freezer. Nice marble flooring. 
Now the whole house has got underfloor heating on this whole level. So everything's like underfloor heated. All the windows have got a one-way film on it so we can see out, but people can't see in. I thought that was a nice feature just because it's such a big property and obviously who we are, who I am, people like to put cameras and take pictures from outside. I've seen people with zoom lenses on the road taking pictures through the window. So it was nice to have little, that little bit of privacy. And we've also got a, I mean, the reinforced windows look like a ballistic grade film on the windows as well. So it's just like really beefed up the security. We've gone for an 8K uh, infrared night vision camera system. We've got floodlights all around the property sensors. We put gates in throughout around the whole property as well, like fencing. So we've done everything we can to sort of bump the property, you know, to, to feel a safe place for us, which is important. If you don't feel safe on your, in your own home, then you're not doing things right, are you? So, so here was a big wall. There was a big wall here that sort of enclosed the kitchen. So we knocked that down, opened up the pantry, which is just a nice storing, nice store area for shoes and bits of crap you have in the kitchen. We had a wall here, so we knocked all that down and we've opened this up to a nice sort of kitchen diner. So we've redone, really put TVs in. We've got like a utility room. This was the utility room originally, but we've sort of, again, every, the whole house got stripped out, but down to bare basics. And we just started from fresh, really. So this is utility room, wash and dryer. Got my own fridge, because obviously I have a hell of a lot of food. So anything, this is like my fridge. This is fridge, fridge number three, yeah, because Alex is, We've got a family fridge, family fridge freezer, we've got my fridge, and then we've got a fridge specifically just for Alex's lady fuel, which is wine. So the hallway, if you remember, was quite dark, dingy, there was blinds, again, the old windows, the old wooden windows, so we just ripped everything out, started afresh, ripped all the plaster in the wood, everything off, flooring, everything's been done fresh from scratch, really. Um, we'll start in the, in the office. So this is my office. This is where I like to come and do my sign merchandise if I've got some orders coming in. I've got a nice back, backdrop screen here. So if I'm filming something, I can do a black background, a white background, or a green background. Obviously the green is for the, you know, when you went to sort of put a, a fake background on. I'll just pull the screen down, set my camera up, and I can do, you know, Zoom calls in here and, and whatever else. But this is just like a nice sort of room for me to come in do any, you know, we've got Zoom calls, bits of business. Um, it's a nice place for me to keep my trophies and, you know, my, my sort of achievement. One million subscribers on YouTube, right above. I mean, this is obviously one my proudest possession, but this is not far behind to have a million subscribers on YouTube. It was a big thing for me because I'd only been doing it, I think seven months before I hit a million subscribers. Uh, and then only a few months after that, that obviously the, the world crisis hit us and I don't know, it just, it just Doing video content proved very hard during that period, so I'm sorry it slowed down somewhat. But this is just like a really nice room for the for the family to come in and work. You know, if you've got, need a bit of a quiet space, I do only filming in here. Uh, I just see it as like a, a bit of a bit of a museum for myself, really. Keep all my strongman stuff here, and look what I've even got the, the world strongest man logo. And this was a feature in the old house that I decided to keep, just because. I mean, it's great to have your privacy, but I just like the flow of the house. You know, you're walking past your you can see them in here, give me a wave, do you want a drink? You know, it's just nice. Rather than opening door, disturbing a call, it's uh, it's just nice. And this is my son's tank that he got for his birthday. He actually fires BB guns, by the way, which is really cool. So he does sneak up on me and shoot me in the arse with BB pellets, which is, thanks to my granddad for buying that. It's a great, great gift. Um, <clears throat> now it might seem, daft but I've had the internet hardwired into the entire house so any device in the house whether it be a PC a TV a laptop PlayStation it's the you know everything's hardwired in so there's no there is Wi-Fi you know so I've got Wi-Fi on my phone but every single device in the house has been hardwired in so uh, this point down here these points go to different rooms in the house uh, again, it was just something that I felt, you know, whether you're forever home, it just felt it was something worth doing, you know. You, uh, there's no lag on the films, there's no lag when you're doing your Zoom calls, it made a massive difference. Um, excuse the stairs, we're not doing the stairs until the upstairs is completely done. Reason being, when you're doing bathrooms and bedrooms, you're bringing 
baths up and down, tiles, things get knocked. So the stairs will probably be one of the last features to get done, but we've got some really exciting plans for that. Uh, I'll let the wife. Um, she wants glass, she's on about doing some trees built into the, going into the ceiling and all sorts. So whatever, you know, I don't want to get involved in that. I just, I just, I just pay for it. <clears throat> Obviously all new internal doors. We've got, you know, we've revamped the downstairs toilet. Um, it was just, again, everything was just old. It was built in 1988, the house was. And from what I gather, it hasn't really been decorated since then. Um, and then we'll go to the games room. Now, if anyone is a Dragon Ball Z fan, that's why. So me and my son were sort of arguing what to have on the, on the win. He wanted Pokemon, he wanted X, Y, and Z. I was like, no, it's my games room. You can use it, but it's my games room. So we're having Dragon Ball Z. It's one of my favorite cartoons. Again, uh, I think, there well, was, there was a fireplace there. So we completely ripped the fireplace out, which obviously opened up the room quite a bit more. Um, we're able to get a full corner sofa in here. A, I think it's an 80 inch TV. It doesn't look that big in this room, but it is. Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. We've got blackout blinds in this room, even on this window. Just so we can, when you obviously, when you're gaming, you just want that complete sort of like, you know, you don't want any distractions. You close the door, put the blinds down, and you can just concentrate on your game and just zone out, which is, I think, super important. One of the best features of this room, actually, one of the best features of this room, is this bad boy. Oh! Now, if anyone's a Final Fantasy fan, <laughs> this is the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII that Cloud dominates the game with so uh, I saw it on eBay and I just couldn't resist I had to have it as sort of like the wall feature for this room I absolutely love it uh, if anyone's a Final Fantasy 7 fan don't get the knockoffs trust me this was 3d printed by somebody who's a, you know like a proper big Final Fantasy fan he 3d printed it and put it all up himself so you can get knockoff ones for like 50 60 quid off eBay they're terrible so don't bother with them that was that was specially made now this is the best feature of the game room and this is my custom made PC right so this PC um, a guy called Matt Henley from scan computer systems reached out and offered to build me uh, the ultimate gaming PC so this is by no exception this is the best gaming PC on the planet it's the most powerful the fastest I mean everything that like the, the headsets the keyboard it's all like mechanical keyboards it's just like I've never seen anything like it and it plays games immense like the graphics and the speed so when you're playing Call of Duty and you get a bit of lag and somebody shoots you I mean this is hardwired into the internet as well with all the systems in place this is it's insane like the, you can definitely see the difference when you're playing Call of Duty like you're killing people before they've even spotted you sort of thing if you take a look in here so let me just get i got some details here because i'm not i'm not massively like computer savvy so spec wise um the cpu is an intel core i9 uh complementing is an asus tough rtx 3090 the best gaming graphics card available a lot of this just doesn't make sense to me <laughs> uh the rog rampage 4 extreme encore motherboard powered by a platinum rated 16 watt Corsair AXI power supply, 35 inch ultra wide curved monitor, customized AK racing gaming chair, max gaming chair, Corsair gaming set. So, I mean, the system, so it's from Scan Computers, they're at a the company in Bolton. I'll put the link in the description of the video because believe me, if you wanna get a good, like a good build of a PC, whether it be from 200 pounds to 20,000 pounds, it doesn't matter. These guys are the ones to sort of guide you and get the best kit you can possibly get, get the best value for money. It is like, it's insane how big and busty this is. Um, everything in here is custom. So even the cooling system, this is these pipes here are all water cooled. So, and that's like cooling the motherboard and whatever else. We've got all the, all the graphics that have been lasered in, I mean, personal records. That is the actual, uh, they took that from the picture of the 500 kilo deadlift, so they've actually etched the actual weight in, that's the actual 
you know, the sort of sketch of it. Um, I mean, I've got two, four, six, I've got eight fans on the front, two on the back, three on the top here, so obviously, and it's got, it tells you the, the temperature of the CPU in the corner there. Sorry, I'm proper geeking out here, but this, this is like, this is my puppy. I absolutely love this. I mean, I play all sorts of games on it, like Call of Duty. There's got a new boxing game coming out as well in a couple of months as well that I can't wait to play. It's coming out on the PC first. And then my son just comes along and plays Roblox on it. So, <laughs> it's literally the most powerful gaming PC on the planet and my son just comes along and plays Roblox. So, uh, but fair play. I, I love that he comes in here and spends time in this room. So it makes me very happy that he's next to us and playing games next to us. It makes me happy. I know he's safe, you know? Um, Right, that is it for the games room. Good boy, good boy. Right, so the living room, again, just, just very old, very dainty. So, you know, it's all carpet on the second floor. So the whole floor has been tiled, you know, whether it be marble, wood effect or whatever, it's all been tiled, under floor heating. Everything's been renewed. Every bit of wood, wallpaper, you name it. The lighting was all sort of, all very old style lighting, like chandelier type. So we just ripped everything out to start from scratch. So we've had spotlights throughout the whole property. Uh, again, blackout blinds in here, just because this is the room you want to sit down at night and just enjoy, isn't it? You know, you don't want to be sat down thinking someone peering in through the window. So it's just a nice place to come. We've got lovely curtains to sort of black out the room. The one feature we did keep, now the, the, the fireplace in the old house, we kept the we kept the marble bit basically because it was just so grand and big we couldn't we couldn't throw it away we felt so bad about destroying this so we kept this but we ripped out the front section of the fireplace dug in uh, we had to get um, a constructor in to sort of reinforce everything so to make sure the chimney best didn't fall down rip all that out put a burner in put up through the chimney and this is all nicely lit even the back of the TV if you turn the TV on and it, again it's just like a lovely lovely feature when you when you watch the tv it's got like a backlit behind the tv and at night it just looks gorgeous it's just a super nice way of you know enjoying the room uh we have new sofas and alex is decorated in here so i think we've got some pictures of the family like this this is alex no that's that's max <laughs> the watermelon resembles alex because she is a watermelon and then me and mr wolfie I just, honestly, like the wife bought me that. Was it 50? Um, but yeah, she bought me this. And this is Wolfie here. He's my, my pride and joy. He is literally my best friend. I've only had him a few months, but he has just been insane. Like so, so welcoming to everybody that we brought into the house. Super nice animal, but again, just one click of the finger and he protects us to the, you know, he, he dies for his last breath to, to protect us. So I just love him to bits. That's pretty much it. All, again, all, all credit to the wife for decorating. Like, I've had no input whatsoever. Um, so everything you see here. You make it sound like you haven't been allowed input. I mean, you're not, but. Although you know, I'm not. Yeah, but you, you, don't, you don't need to because you like it so much. Yeah, don't that's you? true. That's fine. Yeah, I've but absolutely you. anything I've suggested, it's just been like, shut up. You don't, Get out. You don't know what you're doing now. See you know what I mean? So this is the under four eating system. It's, it's all digital, so you just, you know, you want it at a set degree, you just turn it up and down, it heats up from the floor. Right, and this leads us on to the conservatory. Now this room was probably the worst room of the house. It was all boarded out, um, horrible lighting. All the windows were like that old dingy wood. So it just, it just, it just, it just wasn't a nice room to sit in. It wasn't comfortable, it, it, you know, it smelled damp. So again, we just ripped everything out, new windows, new doors, re rejigged everything, replastered everything. The wife picked this absolutely ridiculous chandelier. Let me just uh, turn it on for us, babe. So she picked this ridiculous chandelier. Um, but I tell you what, this room is absolutely lovely in the summer. Like it's, been, it's a hot day today, and as soon as you come in here, it's nice and cool. And it's just because of all the windows that you've got in here. Come here, Arnold. Come here, mate. Hey? What are you doing? Where are you going? He's not he's digging his claws into me. Where do you want to go? What are you doing? Hey, come here. Arnold. Arnold. Mm. That's probably why. Mm. <laughs> mm. Never likes me stroking him. That's not 
stroking Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> but th this room is super nice. It's just, you know, you've got the double doors you can open up, you can open up every single window. You know, in the summer, I mean, we had a really hot few heat wave week, you know, days, didn't we? Unbearable. And this was like the only way you could come in where it just like wasn't sizzling you. Um, so, just again, it's just like a nice, a, a nice room in the house that we transformed. We, you know, we spent quite a bit of time in here. You know, a bit, bit of a quiet room. You've know, got a bit of a library. Room. The reading room, Alex likes to call it. Got a bit of a library up there. Um, well, one of the, if you just hang on a sec, I'll show you the best book in the world. This is one of the best books I've ever read in my life. So, the only book you've ever read in your life. <laughs> I mean, I barely, I mean, all I did was flip through and look at the pictures. <laughs> just hang on a second, I'll show you. Look at this, look at these pictures. That's me when I was a baby. That's my mum. That's me on my first trike. That's me and my brothers. That's me and my dad's bike that my brother wrote off when he was 15. <laughs> Got stuff like my first strongman competition. There's my nan, my granddad, my first strongman contest. Obviously, when I met my beautiful wifey and my kids. I suppose we'll go out this way. And that's pretty much it for the second floor. We, you know, it's not it's not that many rooms, but the very big rooms, and I, and I love the sort of space it gives you. It does give you a much nicer sort of feel for for, for luxury, which which I do appreciate. So I'll go out this way. And we'll just have a have a gander of what's going to be on the next video for the house. Here we go. The spa. So this is something that I've. Been, it took me over a year from when it started. If you remember, I think we've showed the before picture uh, video. So I had a hot, when as soon as I moved in, I had a big swimming pool sort of dunked there with a hot tub. And that was just so I could get some swimming training in during the lockdown. Um, and then I've built around it, I've added to it. It's got a sauna, it's got a shower, it's got a sunbed, it's got a cold bath, it's got a hot tub, it's got a swimming pool. It's pretty insane. So that's gonna be the sort of next video for the house it's nearly done we're just waiting for a few little bits to be done um but honestly like for me it just looks like it's been there forever it looks like it's part of the property we've got the same use the same bricks uh, we built the pathway so it blended with the other cobbles and everything so i'm excited for that so guys thanks for watching this is this is like me me leveling up you know it's it, it, this is an important process for me to sort of progress i couldn't fit everything in my old house you know i moved into this house so i could fit my gym in my recovery stuff like the hot and cold is very important for me as well um so something i've got to do to sort of level up and keep up with the regime that i've got to do you know finding those extra time to sort of get my training and get my recovery in i've got it all at home and that's a big thing i don't have to travel to a gym to get my training i don't have to travel to a gym to do my recovery it's all here uh, and that that's why i bought this house so i can i can up my game in the in the athletic world so uh thank you for watching guys don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time big love the beast take care